onwards with more Sakura Succubus. And uh, the main character is talking to his mom. What is the issue, dear? Are you lamenting your inability to land a nice woman? His mom is not aware that he is in a harem with several succubi. Or a nice man. Gay joke. I did think it's strange, you know, that you only had one girlfriend back in high school. Most young boys will play the field much more. I'd always suspected, given your seeming lack of interest in the fair sex, your taste might be elsewhere. Uh, the humor from this moment is uh, derived from the fact that the mom thinks her son is gay when uh, he's not. If that is the case, I won't judge. We all have our own interests. I'd rather you be upfront with me about it, though, instead of trying to hide it. Everyone in my book club agrees. You just look like the perfect little gay boy. The greatest twink that ever twinks. You've nothing to be ashamed of. Well, at least his mother is accepting of his gayness. Or his... She would be accepting of his pretend gayness. His gayness that does not exist. It would be interesting if there would be like one succubus who was born male. Ooh, that would be a twist. No matter what happens, you'll always be my son. Mom, please. I'm not gay, if that's what you're implying. I've no interest in men whatsoever. But maybe in later Sakura games that will be changed. There are a lot of lesbians in Winged Cloud games, but I've yet to feel like a gay dude. Really? Are you sure about that, dear? Quite sure. Jeez. Don't sound so disappointed. Sorry, dear. I only assumed. Wrongly. Yes, well, now I see I might have been mistaken. You'll have to forgive your mother for jumping to conclusions. I've already prepared my acceptance speech, you know, for when you did decide to come out, so now it'll be wasted. Hours and hours I've spent writing it. Not on your life. Now listen here. I wanted to call up. La 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 la. More talking. A few. <laughs> and, uh, hush. well, he can't tell her about the sucky by realm, but is, is this pretend Japan allowing polygamy? And, I mean, Hifumi obviously wants to marry him. But the others would be, like, really jealous if he just married the one. <laughs> that chair is a little bit too close to that that uh that a drawers you'd have to move the chair every time you want to get to the drawers how much in the way of a kitchen do they not have up i like i was talking about how cool i thought japanese apartments were but is there no oven just got that tiny grill i guess just to boil water in he doesn't have a rice cooker i don't believe he's actually japanese say that. Your sense of humor is so deadpan. I find it hard to tell when you're being serious about this. Oh, there's so much talking in this game. <laughs> I'm complaining about too much talking in the visual novel, but it's because I'm expected to read some of it out loud. My 
Now this is one of the tallest tales you've ever told me. There's no way it can't be true. I've not heard of Ikui Ayu or this Cosmos girl before, but I've read about Marina and Hazel in the papers. They're both very talented and very pretty. I mean no offense, dear, but I can't fathom why women such as these would take an interest in you. This must be a joke. It's simply infeasible by the very idea. <laughs> You naughty boy, Hiroki, you're, you're sending me into convulsions. <sighs> it's boring when there's not boobs on the screen. Finally, someone is at the door. <gasps> Yay! Hey, Hiroki! I can't believe you! What were you going to tell me? You'd finalize that trip to Astoria, huh? Were you planning to jet off on your own with Hifumin and the others in tow without telling me first? Sorry, I, <laughs> I slightly still sound like the mom. Ugh! Don't you care about my feelings? I'm also going into convulsions. Hey, Hiroki, it's good to see you. Where is that cattail stuck in? Is it a cattail butt plug or is it just like taped to her? Yeah, if only you had a whole group of succubi to question about their bodies and abilities. I wanted to see you before your trip, so I and I decided we would come over. It looks like you're busy, though. I don't want to bother you when you're on your phone. Should I sit here and wait until you're finished? And me? Aren't you glad to see me too, Hiroki? Sure, I'm glad about it. <laughs> well, of course you are. I'm Ikui Ayu. After all, Japan's number one idol. <laughs> you wouldn't be overjoyed at a visit from yours truly. Wait. But Ayu, I thought Mihama Shizuru was more pop- SHUT UP! <laughs> Maybe I should thank my lucky stars Ayu didn't try to choke her this time. Hiroki? What's happening, Hiroki dear? I can hear a lot of noise in the background. Do you have guests over? Dude, don't call them friends. They're your girlfriends. <laughs> At least. He also is suspicious of the cat ears and cat tails like me. They aren't real and she can't hear from them. At least I don't think she can. Are you talking to your mother, Hiroki? Your mother! <laughs> I was just gonna sound like a demon. Give me that. Why, hello, Miss Agasawa Wara Narakan. It's very, very nice to meet you. You give it back. I 
know we haven't been formally introduced, but I am very much looking forward to meeting you in person one of these days. My name is Ikui Ayu. Uh, Emmy can't pronounce it my name right half the time. Perhaps you've heard of me. I'm Japan's number one idol, and I'm beloved all across the world. You're Japan's number two idol now. This might be news to you, but your son and I have quite the intimate relationship. He is my loyal cameraman, and he has taken many photos of me in the past for the newspaper. He is indentured to. <laughs> indentured to. I felt sorry for your poor son, seeing him work so hard for so meager a pittance. So I. Ex I'm. <laughs> Uh, I'm one of those people who reads more than I talk, so I know what words mean. I just don't know how to pronounce them. You're the number two idol. I am a very busy woman. I don't have the time to care for all the down-in-the-mouth plebeians which populate this country. Your son won me over, however, with his determination and his focus and later his kindness. I I've grown rather fond of him over the past few months, and I have good reason to believe he shares my feelings. Hifumin might believe she has this in the bag now she's confessed to Hiroki on live TV, but don't go on counting me out of this race just yet. I have plans to get Hiroki down the aisle before she can. Then the pair of us will be married and you shall be my future mother-in-law. I look forward to seeing you at our wedding, which will definitely be happening. I'm in the process of picking out a white dress as we speak. Oh, winky. Oh, me too. Me too. I'd also like to marry Hiroki one day. I already own a lot of wedding dresses, but, well, they aren't normal dresses. What should I do? Like it matters, you won't be the one to marry Hiroki. I will! Can't we both marry him? We both love him, after all. I, I, I wouldn't go quite that far. I, I just appreciate them is all. And, and I don't want the rest of you taking them away from me. I'm going to win this competition in any case, so so you better back off. Polygamy isn't even legal in Japan, Cosmos, you dummy. <gasps> it isn't? Of course it isn't! What bizarro land do you live in? It certainly isn't Earth. Hiroki can date all of us, but he can't marry all of us. He'll have to choose, and naturally, he'll choose me. That's not up for debate. Now goodbye, Mrs. Agasarawara-kun-san-chan. When we next meet, I hope it will be under better circumstances. As your daughter-in-law, I promise I will do you proud. Here, you go. I'm, oh, <laughs> I thought she was like saying, uh, go away. Here you go, I'm done now. Done with what? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm done too. This episode is done. Thank you for listening to my horrible voice. Ta-ta.